remember standing in front of the classroom. They were all sitting in front of us in their colorful clothing. They were singing and uh, it was an indescribable feeling. I was looking at them and uh, uh, hoping these young people are gonna go on and have a good life. of street children, the causes of street life. What could be the life if they continue to be on the street? We are like a pioneer. What are the alternatives that we could offer? If you are poor in Tanzania, by your own you will die. Yes. And if you are sick and you're not able to pay for it, mm -hmm. You can die. Yes. This year was not a very good year for us. When the pump failed to work, we stayed without water for three continuous months. We have not managed to supply the required amount to the people in need. Yes, I want to be the pilot. For you and for other young people in Tanzania, what are the hardships young people face? Well, we're in Uganda, yeah, Tanzania. Things that are very hard. Yeah, we're in Kidungumza, we're in Mali, we're in school. We're going to go to another one. We're going to school. It's very hard to go to school. It's to, to to be able to go to school. I love you, you give me. We're going to go to school. We're going to go to school. We're going to go to school. Even to, to find work is hard. It's not just me, it's many people. <laughs> Hi, how are you? When you grow up, what do you want to be? Yes. What's your name? My name is Yusuf. You speak English? That's awesome. So when you go to university, what do you want to study? Science. Science? Yes. Science. What's your name? My name is Egypt. I'm 11. 11 years old. And what's your favorite subject? Uh, Sports. Sports? Who's your favorite soccer player? Oh, I don't like Ronaldo. He acts, he acts too much. <laughs> well, very nice to meet you. Our employees, our clients, our suppliers, are all very excited about the vision of helping young people around the world. So when, when we were visiting in Tanzania, it was, it was really an amazing experience. I had a vision of the type of projects that we want to do, uh, but after meeting with the young people, after speaking with the various charities uh, there, um, the outcome was surprisingly different. The skills, I thought they were going to be carpentry, I thought they were going to be 
small animal husbandry, uh, beekeeping, etc. But what we concluded is um, training them on basic English uh, language skills and computer skills were uh, uh, the most uh, areas uh, of need uh, because of the educational system in a country like Tanzania where uh, young people really need to develop their uh, English uh, language skills to be able to continue advancing in the educational system there. Uh, technology was another uh, clear uh, skill that we need to provide training on. Um, the orphanage that we visited uh, and where we are hoping to invest our resources, um, they're a great organization, they have over a hundred or so child in their system, but they have three computers. The project we're doing in Tanzania is hopefully the start of our uh, effort to assist uh, around the world. We are going to be meeting with potential uh, Canadian uh, charities where we can assist with funds and resources and expertise to develop programs in underdeveloped communities. On behalf of all the Muslim believers, in, in the surrounding people. We thank you so very much indeed. It's recording, yeah. Here, you try. <laughs> I look forward to many more projects in Canada and around the world. Most recently, we finalized our uh, investment with the Remix project, which is a wonderful Canadian charity focused on supporting youth here in Canada. My name is Romeo. I used to be a trouble kid. A lot of people used to doubt me. So I want to be someone that can change someone's life. I want you to fill in this blank. I want to be as successful as blank. I want to be as successful as MTV. <laughs> <laughs> You want to change that answer? <laughs>